Hi everyone and welcome to Millennium Computers 5-Minute Tutorial Series. Today's course is going to answer the question, how do I debug a report? Now, first of all, what is debugging anyway? So when we're talking about debugging, we're really getting at what is the base query this report is based on when it was executed. Now this is something that can be done on a global level from the administrative perspective or at the end user level if you have the ability to debug the report. Let me first quickly show you where to set this up on a global level if you are an administrator in the system. I'm looking right now at FAST Human Resource Reporting and I've pulled up my configuration settings. Configuration settings is going to be either on your administration tab or in some instances on your queries tab. If I scroll down to configuration setting number 1337, there's an item here called debugging and the options are yes or no. And this allows you on a global level within the application to log SQL statements when executing reports. Now, if this statement is turned to yes with a Y for the value, this is going to enable debugging on a global level. On a global level, this means that every time a report is run, it's going to log a debug report for every end user. This is not something you'd want to have running at all times. This by default is set to enable for 24 hours only. It's just going to turn it off for you at the end of that 24 hour period. Reason being, it's going to take a lot more energy and a lot more time and space to keep track of all those SQL statements. Generally speaking, you're going to want to run a few reports, log those statements, get the information you need, and then turn it back off. Now with debugging set to yes, this is going to now apply debugging on a global scale. But let me now get into a report and show you what happens from the end user's perspective. I'm still working right now within FAST Human Resource Reporting, and keep in mind the debug feature needs to be enabled or disabled at the application level. It's not going to enable for all of FAST. Here's a basic faculty rank report. I've utilized a couple of basic filter options and I'm going to now execute that report. Once the report executes, I have my basic data grid as the report results. What I'd like to do now is click on my plus more tab and scroll down to debug report. Notice this is going to now log for my user ID a history of each execution of this report within that 24 hour time frame. It's going to continue to log changes if and when the filter options are changed when executing the report. Now, if I click on the attached document that's called View SQL, this is giving me the exact query on which this report is based. It includes all base code and also includes the filter options that I've included to execute this report. Now, when might this be useful to have? First of all, if there's ever any problems with FAST and Millennium needs information about how you executed the report and what filter options you used, this is a nice, easy way to recreate that query, including all filter options. You could simply come into this page and copy and paste this text field into an email. It's a quick, easy, and surefire way to get accurate code information to the people who need it. The other thing this can be really handy for is for those power users who are looking to start trying to use the custom query builder. This is going to give you an exact replica of the base code used for each baseline FAST report. In this case, you have an exact replica of the faculty rank report within human resource reporting. This is going to enable you to start learning more about the information in the query and be able to build your own custom queries with more information. When you're done with this feature, I can click to return to debugging. And in this instance, it's telling me debugging is currently turned on. This is going to continue to log my reports as I run them. Rather than turning on debugging globally using the configuration settings, I also have the ability to turn this on as an end user. All I need to do is click the check mark indicating that debugging is turned on or off. If it were currently turned off, I could check the checkbox to turn it on. Because it was already turned on at the global level, it's turned on for me and I can't override that setting. Here's an example of a different report called Employee Leave Details. Now I've gone back and turned off the global configuration setting number 1337 to now turn off debugging for all end users globally. 
I've now executed the employee leave details report and notice it says debugging is currently turned off. There's also no SQL statement for the execution of this report. If I would like to execute this with debugging on, just click the check mark. Once debugging has been turned on for this report, go back to your filter options page, create whatever query you'd like and include as many filter options as you'd like to include. Re-execute the report. Go back to plus more and to debug. And there's my SQL statement. This is the ability for administrators on a global level or end users with access to the debug tab to be able to monitor, review, and even download the SQL statement for each of their reports. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you for the next tutorial.